um, how long can they sustain it for? Yeah, I'll ask the question. Okay, go. So earlier we were talking about a topic of power and control in relationships and the, the follow-up question that I got asked is how, if someone is aware they're in a relationship where it's based on power, where someone has one up over another person who is more submissive, how long can you sustain that for? And my answer to that is as long as both parties are in agreement. You have to understand that in every relationship, it's a mutual uh, agreement that people are in. It's not a good thing, it's not a bad thing, but as long as both parties get their needs met, that's how long it was sustained for. When it no longer works is when someone increases their awareness, they want to make a shift, they want to make a change, and the other person needs to come along with you, or the second option is you're going to uh, be pulled apart. So that's it. When someone increases their awareness, the other partner makes a new agreement of, hey, let's grow, let's shift, let's change together. Or two, ah, I'm not really feeling that. I don't like the direction that you're going. It no longer um, fulfills my needs. So let me go the other way and it's not gonna work. We're now what people call out there, we're two different people. We see different views. So put whatever word you wanna put to it, but the reality is it's uh, energetic, awareness and you either choose to grow together or you're going to grow apart and that's the answer to that part so whatever dynamics you have if it works for you it's sustainable as long as both parties get their needs met if not you're either going to grow or peace out it's not working